So I've got a feed jar here. Now if you haven't seen my video about feed jars, go check it out. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to grow this from seed. So we're going to go in a bit closer, harvest some of the seeds, and then I'll take you through how I'm going to grow them. So this is the feed jar I'm going to take the seeds from. So you can see all the seeds in there. So I'm just going to take them out, put them on my plate to start with. So these are what the seeds look like up close. Now if you're going to store these seeds, I do recommend to give them a good wash under water. Um, or if you're going to plant them straight into soil, give them a really good wash. But today, um, because we're almost in winter, I've decided to try to grow them in the Ziploc method. So I've got a damp paper towel here, which I'm just going to place them on. Um, but first I'm going to just rub the seed between my fingers and get off most of the flesh. Okay, that's pretty clean now, so just put it on Ziploc. <clears throat> and I'll just go through and do that with all of these seeds. Now the reason that I recommend that you give these a good wash if you grow them straight into soil or if you want to store the seeds is because you don't want any bugs getting at the seeds. Um, but because I'm using just the Ziploc method to grow them, I'd say they're not going to take long to germinate and um, I don't have to worry about bugs getting at them just because it's in a sealed bag. So yeah, this is um, enough all you need to do just rub it off. You can wash them if you want but it's just easier not to and it's not really necessary. Okay so here's the seeds that I've put onto the damp paper towel and now all you do is just put it in the Ziploc bag and seal it up and label it. So I'm doing the Ziploc method just because we're almost in winter and it's just going to be easier to keep them in a warm spot inside rather than putting um, pots of dirt inside so you can grow them straight into soil, just put them quite shallow and um, keep them watered in, in a warm position and they should germinate for you quite easily. Cool, so that's our seeds prepared and I'll see you soon for results. So two and a half weeks after I put the seeds on the damp paper towel, this is what I've got. Um, they all seem to have germinated, so let's move on to the transplant now. So I'm just going to rip each piece of the paper towel that has a plant growing on it. And this one is slightly attached to the paper towel, so I'm going to take off as much as I can, but I do want to leave a little bit because um, I don't want to disturb the root. So that should do. As you can see, there's still a bit of root attached to the paper towel. So now all I'm going to do is just make a bit of a hole, drop it in, and cover it up. And that's one successfully transplanted. You know what, this isn't even attached to the paper towel, it's just sitting there, so I'm going to plant it just like that, very carefully. So I'm not being too careful with this, as you've seen I've already got enough feed dry trees, but um, if these do go well I'll probably just end up giving them away to family and friends. This is probably the best one I have, so again I'm just going to carefully tear away the paper towel that's not necessary. I think I'll leave the rest on there. And Planted in. So as always when you do a transplant you need to water the plants straight away um, and because these plants are so tiny the best thing for me to do would have been to water the soil before I planted them but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to use a spray bottle and give them a good spray. I will give them a lot more after the video, but it looks like it's going to take a while to get them really wet. Okay, so it's been two and a half weeks since the transplant, and this is how my feed jar seedlings are going. They've opened up all of their first leaves, um, but they haven't got any true leaves yet. But they're still doing well. 
I've had them in quite cold weather. Um, they've been outside exposed to even um, mild frosts and they're still doing all right. So I think I will find a warmer space for them just so that they can um, start to get a bit bigger. So thank you for watching. I'll keep you guys updated on these seedlings through my Facebook page. So go check it out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and look out for new videos coming soon. Cheers.